Good morning to you all. We begin this Holy Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Dear friends in Jesus, to make ourselves worthy of this Holy Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, for my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other instruments, Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the hot white furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name. 
praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, You will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Everyone who commits sin he is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in your household forever, but your son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, that you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then. Do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I came from God and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus, one of the outstanding speakers in the history of the church was John Chrysostom. He was so faithful to God and his law that he denounced the rich people in Constantinople who conspired with the Empress Eudoxia and arranged for his exile. When he was told of his exile, this is what Chrysostom said. What can I fear? Will it be death? But you know that Christ is my life and that I shall gain by death. Will it be exile? But the earth and its fullness is the Lord's. Will it be the loss of wealth? But we brought nothing into the world and carry nothing out. Poverty I do not fear, riches I do not care for, and death I do not shrink from. Dear friends in Jesus, Chrysostom 
was not afraid of losing anything because for him what mattered most was God and his faith in him. Like St. Paul, he considered everything as rubbish compared to the faith he had in Jesus Christ. He did not shy away from exile and death because he knew that God would not abandon his servants to the grave. The story of Chrysostom is a story of faithfulness to the end. You may have, you may have heard of Queen Mary of England, also known as Bloody Mary. There was a time she tried to re-establish Catholicism in England. In her efforts to revive the Catholic Church, she arranged for John Philpott, a leading Protestant minister of the day, to be burned at a stake. When his death sentence was pronounced, Philpott said, I am ready, God grant me strength and a joyful resurrection. He walked to the place of execution on his own rather than having to be dragged to it. And when he reached it, he knelt and kissed the stake at which he would be burned. His story is a story of faithfulness until the end. In the first reading today, we have the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What is it all about? It is all about faithfulness. Like Chrysostom and like John Philfoot, they remained faithful to God until the end. Why were all these people faithful to God? Why were they not afraid of death? Because they knew the truth and that that truth would set them free one day. It is this conviction of having the truth with them that made them, that, that gave them strength in the face of death. Dear friends in Jesus, God forbid it, but what would our choice be if we were to stand in the shoes of these people? Will we stand firm for what is right or will we lower the standard to avoid trouble? The fact is, for us to be able to remain faithful in large things, we have to learn to be faithful in little things. Yes, Jesus makes it very clear to us in the Gospels. I recently read about a light bulb in Livermore, California, that has been burning almost continuously since 1901. The Livermore Power and Light Company gave the light bulb to the Livermore Fire Department over a century ago, and it has been burning ever since. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes this as the oldest and long-lasting bulb known in existence. Like this light bulb, we Christians should never stop shining our light, no matter the consequences. And our prayer today is, Lord Jesus, let us be always faithful to you. Please stand. The prayer of faith is always answered, the Bible says, and so in faith we place before God all our needs. We pray for leaders, temporal as well as spiritual, that without deifying themselves, they make themselves stewards of the one true God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Christians all over the world, especially for all of us gathered around this holy altar today, that we don't ever serve man-made gods, but the God of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of us that we remain faithful to God until the end. 
we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick that in and through our prayers they experience God's healing touch today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Lucero Calderon that in and through our prayers he receives God's forgiveness and enjoys his eternity with God, his saints and angels. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the personal intentions we hold right now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. May this mingling of water and wine help us to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, yet will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when therefore yes we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit to remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and joseph our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress yes we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said to the other apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive him. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the image of Mother Mary at the foot of the cross is an image of faithfulness until the end. Let us pray today through our intercession that we also remain faithful to God until the end, no matter the consequences. As we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth this Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all his evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.